as we draw towards the announcement of the 2016-17 Victorian Greyhound of the Year, let's take a look at some of the highlights on the Group 1 stage. Victorian star Zambora Brocky continued his reign as Australia's premier greyhound sprinter by winning the first Group 1 of the 2016-17 season, the Winter Cup in Brisbane. Fresh from victories in the Warnable and Horsham Cup, Zambora Brocky secured the second Group 1 of his career by one length over hugely talented local star Outside Pass. On the turn, Zambora Brocky has dashed to the lead. Outside Pass will lunge late, but Zambora Brocky too good for either Outside Pass. Kilty Express was the only greyhound among the 2016 Maturity Classic finalists not trained by a big name trainer, but that didn't prevent the speedster from landing Warnable's Ray Drew his first Group 1 win. Bred by Brian Parkinson, the son of Kilty Lad had to work hard to find the lead, and he eventually held on to claim the $100,000 first prize. Hello. Ultimate Magic, the leader, coming down the outside again, Kilty Express, shimmers on the rails, they hit it, I think Kilty Express, Kilty Express, shimmers on and also Ultimate Magic in a three -way. On a wet night at the Meadows, it took an enormous run from Dundee Osprey to claim the invitation-only top gun for Pakenham South breeder trainer Jeff Scott Smith. Trailing dynamic front runners Aston Bolero and Pantera Nera for much of the race, Dundee Osprey used all of his strength to win what was the second Group 1 of his career. Here comes Dundee Osprey, Dundee Osprey racing away to win the top gun. Aston Bolero second, third as Pantera Nera. Thoroughbred Racing's Melbourne Cup Eve always means a big night at the Meadows and as usual the Hume Cup was the main event on the card. Fanta Bale, a Robert Britton trained greyhound boasting American bloodlines, skipped away to a big lead before being challenged late and are hanging on in a thriller over odds on favourite Buck 40. Coming after it, Buck 40 along the rails, it's Fanta Bale still in front, Buck 40's going to drive but Miss Fanta Bale's won it. Fanta Bale's Ando's Mac became the first non-Victorian Greyhound to win a Melbourne Cup in 15 years. Remarkably, trainer Jason McKay was a shattered man after Ando's Mac recorded a below par time in his heat win. But with the assistance of good friend, Victorian trainer Anthony Azapati, Ando's Mac returned to his best in the $600,000 final, opening up a decisive break before hanging on to win the world's richest Greyhound race. It's Ando's Mac by two, Jezalenko's coming, Jezalenko dives at Ando's Mac. But Ando's back won it. Beat Jezalinko by a head. Third worm burner flashing home. Fourth is outside pass. Earlier on Melbourne Cup night, It's a Bird claimed the Bold Trees final over the longest 715 metre journey. Trained by Wayne Vasalo, It's a Bird led virtually all the way to claim the $100,000 first prize. For home, it's It's a Bird by two on ramifications and Jai Manny Hattie and It's a Bird goes coast to coast and beats Jai Manny Hattie. Third ramifications and fourth It's a Bird. Racing now, 30 talks on the inside out, very fast. When hot favourite 30 talks succumbed to injury in the 2017 Silver Chief Classic, Warnable Greyhound Lightning Frank seized the opportunity. Owned by a group of mates and their fathers, Lightning Frank, who was the quickest semi-final winner, showed he is more than just a fast greyhound by producing a commanding three-length victory and delivering trainer Matthew Wright his first Group 1 win. Lightning Frank is well clear. It has the silver chief for well and truly one by three. Reefed and treasure flew for second. Burn one down justified his $1.30 favouritism in the Zoom top, overcoming early interference to win the first Group 1 of the Australian Cup Carnival. This was the Greyhound's third group win and first at Group 1 level, scoring in dominant fashion by nine lengths. This created a common belief that Burn One Down was the best staying Greyhound in Australia. And shooting away as Burn One Down, Burn One Down, the superstar turned way out in front of here. Oh, he's a real beauty, this one, Burn One Down, and he's going to absolutely destroy the field. Fanta Bale claimed her second Group 1 victory with a stunning all the way win in the Rookie Rebel. A greyhound of remarkable consistency, Fanta Bale made it six wins from seven middle distance assignments. There came Cindy's magic in the straight though, Fanta Bale clear, and Fanta Bale went it well on the run home from Blaze and Bomber, extreme magic ripping home for third. Trainer Matthew Wright said it was a huge thrill to get into the Tem Lee, let alone win it. After Lightning Frank scored a sensational win in the Sprint Invitational, his second Group 1 victory. Showing remarkable speed from start to finish, Lightning Frank proved too good for an outstanding field that included place getters Jezelenko and Zambora Brocky. 
Going like lightning in the lead. Six lengths out in front over Jezalenko, Pantera Nera, and then Kane Strike Life. But Lightning Frank is going down the line to win the Temple in great fashion. Jezalenko second, Zambora Froggy out of the ground. The underrated but ultra-consistent Fanta Bale claimed her third Group 1 trophy at the Meadows and her first as a sprinter, with a surprise victory in the Sky Racing Australian Cup final in February. Despite establishing an early lead, she certainly didn't have it all her own way, being overtaken by the speedy Aston Bolero before powering to the finish line. Aston Bolero, the leader, rallying up on the inside as Fanta Bale and they're clear. Evident reality, an aeroplane bob in the straight and Fanta Bale goes for home. She's raced away to win the Australian Cup. Evident reality, second, third aeroplane bob. Earlier on Australian Cup night, Trip to Eden shook off his bridesmaid tag to score a deserving victory in the Australian Superstayers. Having twice run second at Group 1 level in the previous four weeks, Trip to Eden stamped his class on the race, reeling in WA frontrunner Teddy Minnelli, while kennel mate and hot favourite Burn One Down was unplaced after injuring his triangle muscles. Get on the straight, Teddy Minnelli the leader. Here's Trip to Eden bursting through. Trip to Eden got the run, takes the lead and won the Super Stayers from Teddy Minnelli, followed by Alira Bale. The Golden Easter Egg in Sydney is Australia's richest greyhound race held outside of Victoria. But for the eighth straight year, it was a Victorian trained greyhound that took home the $250,000 winner's check. $31 chance, Lagoon Jazzy assumed the early lead. However, a superb turn of mid-race pace from Striker Light saw the Victorian take charge of the race before hanging on in a thriller. Lead over Lagoon Jazzy, lucky, lucky champ, the leader Striker Light, Lagoon Jazzy coming again, Striker Light narrowly. Early on Sandown Cup night, Black Mumbo won the Harrison Dawson, a race for male greyhounds. Trainer Anthony Karabitsarkos dedicated the win to his late father Frank, a former greyhound trainer who urged his son to keep persisting with training greyhounds despite the family enjoying only moderate success on the track over a period of 40 years. Jimmy Neewob and Black Mumbo turn in the Harrison Dawson. Black Mumbo takes the lead now. Black Mumbo forges clear and Black Mumbo has beaten Jimmy Neewob. Also on Sandown Cup night, former New South Wales Greyhound Maya Mahi Mahi showed plenty of determination in the girls only Sapphire Crown. Upstaging champion pair Uphill Jill and Striker Light to capture the $100,000 first prize. The win was trainer Ashley Terry's first at group level, with the 26 year old having achieved minor placings in group races on two previous occasions. Maya Mahi Mahi in front, Uphill Jill coming late. Maya Mahi Mahi in front and gets there. Maya Mahi Mahi has beaten Uphill Jill, third striker right. History was created in the 2017 Sandown Cup with Fanta Bale becoming the first ever greyhound to win at Group 1 level over the sprint, middle and staying distances. In a memorable rendition of the world's richest staying race, Fanta Bale made her move in the final stages of the race to claim the $175,000 first prize. Four or five in front of Fanta Bale, burn one down, then Midnight Elsa, Dundee Osprey turned in front though, Fanta Bale finishing well on the rail, Fanta Bale got through on the rail, grabbed the lead and Fanta Bale, I'd say Fanta Bale's got there to beat Dundee Osprey in a rib tickling finish to the Sandown Cup. Then